What is going on, guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Let's get into the news. If you're a user of Google Hangouts, you're probably going to have to look for a new chat app. It's going the way of the Buffalo come 20. 20. So 2019 will be its last full year of use and then come 2020, Google will be stopping it, deleting it, getting rid of it. So what are you going to use? There's tons of chat apps out there. I personally use, if you love Google chat apps, I love Google Allo. I think it's easy to use. It's fun. It's I mean, fun in terms of you can change the backgrounds and you know it's really add, easy to add GIFs and photos and videos and things like that. And then obviously if you want a video chat app, I like Google Duo. So it kind of combines all of that into one uh, so that you can do your video chats, you can do your audio chats, and you can do your text chat all with those two apps. But anyways, if you're a Hangouts app, again, it's going to be going away 2020. Next up, if you're a user of the Samsung Internet Browser app, which I actually use Chrome, but maybe you have a Samsung phone and you want to use that Internet app and you want to have a little bit more privacy than just using Google because Google kind of stores all this data and centers ads around your usage. Well, you can change your default search, search engine on the Samsung internet app. All you got to do is open it up, click the three dots in the top right, and then you want to go down all the way to settings. Once you're in settings, you're going to see default search engine, tap on that and, and tap on duck, duck, go. That's going to allow you to have a little bit more uh, privacy to the searches and things that you use your phone for and not feel like someone's always knowing everything you're looking for because all those searches you do are private, nothing stored. Again, DuckDuckGo is now available as the default search engine on Samsung internet browser. And our last story of the day is kind of a reminder if you have an iPhone 6, 7, and 8, all the way to the iPhone X and then all those plus versions and things like that, you can get your battery replacement app until December 31st. It's only 29 bucks. So if you have one of those phones and you've had the battery for a year or two, I definitely recommend going in there, getting your battery replaced. It's only 29 bucks plus tax and that's it. And it'll give you more life uh, to your phone so that maybe you don't have to upgrade as soon as you really wanted to because your battery's not lasting as good. Go get your free battery or $29 battery up until December 31st. They had it all year long for 2018, but obviously 2018 is ending soon. So you're going to have to make an appointment, so make sure you call your Apple or do it on the Apple.com site and get your $29 battery. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. My question out to you guys is, which search engine do you use the most or do you like to use? I'm obviously a Google guy. I'm not too worried about the privacy side. I have everything pretty much locked down. Um, let me know what you guys use. Do you guys use DuckDuckGo? Do you use Yahoo? Do you use MSN? Do you use something else? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you down the road. Peace!